come to my point and I want to make a successful business and I want this community of mine to support me. I'm pretty much a, the only Latino guy with the exception of the, the new restaurant that they opened in my community is this Mexican restaurant. And I can kind of reflect on that because I see how the community went to slow step and now they're kind of they're open to go over there and eat all the time and then you see how new faces come in there. I spend a lot of time in there, whether it's eating or just visiting. But um, it's important in the community to support you. And it's important to us as a Latinos and entrepreneurs to wake up and participate in our communities. Otherwise, we don't want to be recognized to what we are. Um, at least that's my message here. I'm already doing my part and doing my thing for myself. I also see, and behind me is a bunch more Latinos, whether they come from Mexico or from South America. It is important to me to do a good job as an entrepreneur because I need to be recognized. Not for me, but because I see a lot of people trying, like she said, trying to make tamales here trying to do sewing business. And if I am the only one that's speaking out there for, for the Latino, I have to put a good face and I have to represent them well. And that's what I am today. Trying to do the right thing for the people, not for the money, but because it is my duty. If this is my country, and not consume, especially in these times today. My dream, if I can call that way, is have the capability to go and get a bunch of Latino guys and put them to work and produce. I don't want lazy people in the shop. <laughs> I want good people. And if there's any questions that you guys have about me, please do. Point, I know hiring anything or anybody, I'm sorry, because I just start. So I have to find that support from the community before I even try to you know, make a run for it. I got to make sure that the community knows who I am, exactly as I do. And definitely, yeah, I'm be open to, to hire anybody then who can bring suspense to, to the business. I don't need nothing else, whoever needs the job. If I have the capital to do that, I'm more than happy. But I'm open to hire anybody that needs to do it. How long have you been open? Uh, six months at this point. How's it going? Scary, scary, <laughs> but that's the point. I mean, she said, I mean, we, we, if I left my country to be here, that doesn't scare me. One thing that I noticed is, don't let yourself go ahead of yourself. I don't need an extra phone line. I don't need an extra service. What I have is good. I don't need, many people try, oh, you want to put an internet service and do TV here and this and that, and then you got to pay those bills. I learned what I have is more than enough at this point. Low overhead. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, too much consuming. That's the problem. Anybody? Where are you located? Little Paul. <coughs> yeah. How are you advertising? <coughs> Business cards and pretty much like this. Everybody then can talk to me. I mention about it or uh, every single person that I see around I can help. I mostly go and help them and that brings a conversation and so on. Mostly happy to be there for anybody anytime of the day. Can you explain more about what you're doing different in order to attract more clients? Uh, let's say for example working after regular hours or <coughs> Yeah, that's another thing that I kinda of added that I forgot to add. Um, 
I found this. Uh, you gotta do something that nobody else is doing. But that something that you do it is is it for yourself or is it benefit of the community? In my case, I try to bring something to the community for their own benefit, which is in the same way would bring benefit to me. And I open at this point from from nine to eight p.m. Usually I leave like last night I left the shop at ten thirty, and it doesn't matter because if one person got up from work at five and she's kind of stumbling on the way home and they see they're not open, they come in and that satisfies me not because the customer came in. You know, the opportunity, and I'm going to do something really good for that person. I'm going to take the warmness away. I'm going to fix his car. My rewards already, you understand, I'm going to get paid for this. But also, that person is probably coming back again for any other thing. But that person is going to tell someone else, and there's someone right there thinking in their benefit, knowing how I'm going to get more money out of the community. That, uh, that's my goal. By being extra time there, later time. Because you get off from work at 5 o'clock, everybody's closed down. And if you go there, oh, you gotta wait until Wednesday. I'm there, I take your car, I fix the driver's spot. And if you have to go home, I take you home, and when the car is ready, you can go work in the morning like nothing ever happened. Yes, go to this. Do you fix all cars? <laughs> Are you specializing in a certain kind of car, or? I do any car, bumper to bumper. Oh. Okay, this is going to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I learned to talk about it. And then the last one, in terms of, what kind of, uh, in terms of community, what kind of activities do the community be doing? Like, not as Rogelio, the owner of the entrepreneur, but Rogelio, a member of the, of the community. Do you? Well, I get a lot of calls from people then ask me to translate for them. Uh, so when the police call me, you got this guy over here, does he speak English? And I go over there, I take my time. No, because I want to get, uh, how can I explain? I mean, it's my, it's my part to do. I mean, there's someone there that needs me. That means that he might want to go to jail, or maybe they let him go. So I take the time for that. Why? Because I'm an immigrant also. Fortunately, I came over here with all my papers. <coughs> but there are other people that are my neighbors. Some of them, sooner or later, one day or another, one, they're going to help me. So I better help them. I, I mean, that's my type, the view of the, the world, because I come from a country where that's what we are. We can help anybody. I'm never going to stop being in that Costa Rica life. Another thing I do, uh, hospital, sometimes they call me, I get out of the hospital. People that I went there and I help them do the, with the baby. Same way, because they don't speak English, so they need someone there that can speak. And being a translator, you know the same thing, and really know the language and understand what the words mean. So I have a privilege his wife there and see a baby born. Yeah. Um, your English seems very good to me. Thank you. I just wondered how you learned it. Did you learn it here or before you came here? Was it a struggle for you or did it come easily to you? Or? Well, uh, I think in any individual The only one to stop you to being who you want to be is yourself. It's not the neighbor or the boss or nobody. You just, I don't want to be nothing, I don't want to do it. I mean, simple as that. It's simple as waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. That's simple. You're sleeping, you don't want to, you go and do it. It's an action that you do daily. Every day, everything that you do from the moment that you wake up counts in your life. And it has to count. Don't waste your life. But did you get formal training or did you just learn it on the street or? 
So it works the same way. If I send you to school, it's up to you to sit in that chair and do nothing or actually spend and do your time and learn it. Did you see that? Thank <laughs> you. 